So my name is Nicolas. I'm coming from HP Services in Switzerland. And uh, yes, here's some information about me. Um, I'm in Bitstock since the beginning, so I've done projects in all Bitstock projects. And we, I, we have more than 20 customers, different customers on different versions. And uh, yes, we have uh, four Bitstock customers which already have uh, 360. And I'm sure we will also convince the other that uh, that's an interesting product. So about ABB, this is the situation of ABB as it is. Uh, we are, this is changing just in the moment. This year, we, there will be a big change. Um, we are responsible for the group EI. Uh, group EI means everything which is not bounded to a country. So ABB is an international company. They have... Uh, factory in, every, in uh, most every country, and everything is used by all these countries is, uh, is um, developed into the group EI. About uh, the environment of uh, group EI ABB, um, uh, they, uh, the first project started in 2004 uh, with uh, 2004 Bitstock. We did a migration to 2006 R2. They're still running R2, and um, we are going to migrate this year to the newest Bitstock version. Um, you see the volume. What is interesting, I put all this value uh, to show uh, the number of interfaces that we have at ABB. There is really a lot of number. And before Bitstock 360, the, the worst day was Monday morning. Monday morning because very often during the weekend, SAP systems are rebooted or other systems are rebooted. As you know, all receive location are all disabled. And uh, there was a lot of calls in the morning, why it's not working, I'm not getting data, and things like this. Then you started producing batching, restarting automatic, all this uh, receive location and so, but I mean, it's not a solution. Um, with Bitstock 360, now we know exactly what's going on, when it's going on. <coughs> Something also special about uh, the organization who make the, the operation for, for, this, uh, for this environment. We have ABB people, which does uh, first level support. Uh, we have uh, operation people from the, for, for the machine and the operation system and so, which is done by IBM. And uh, HP, which deliver the project, but also does operation second level support and third level support. And all these organizations are not together, so we are all over the world again. Also, that's also difficult. I mean, if you would be in the same office, then you can speak with each other, uh, you can uh, pass information, but so it's, it's quite difficult, and it's important to have a tool. And we saw from, uh, from Saravana also this knowledge base. We are really using this a lot because uh, um, there are also people which are not so known, uh, not so known into Bitstock, especially the ABB people. They have no idea about Bitstock. And so also to better help them to understand what's going on, uh, we are using this knowledge base. Yeah, I've put it some example of alarm. I mean, we, we are using most of the feature that Saravana is showing. Um, and we have, uh, other example, as I said, the port stopped. Huh? This is something which in Bitstock uh, happened very often. And um, so what's going on? Here, the alarm mainly goes to the service deck of ABB. They don't have, they have no Bitstock at all uh, knowledge, and they are not going to do any Bitstock training. And, uh, but they get the information when SAP system is disabled. So they can restart it by themselves. I mean, this is quite easy with Bitstock resisting. Just with two clicks, I can try to restart this. If it's not restarted, they have contact to the different administrator. And I mean, we have more than 50 SAP systems all over the world. Uh, you also need to know who, who is managing this and so on. This is done by the service desk. In, if there are any technical problem uh, which has to do with Bitstock, they, they can go back to us. Or if there are any technical problem with network or something like this, they can go to uh, the service desk of IBM. We optional also give the possibility to the business. Huh? The business, we have a project in every business. Uh, we have invoicing, which has to do with, uh, with all the invoices. 
We have a specific project. There are so many different projects, and they are based in the different group, in the different country. And uh, also here we get, have the possibility, if the business would like to know that something is not going on, they also have the option to get this information uh, just as an information. We, as we said, we saw we can also track system information um, with the message box who checks all the SQL uh, jobs that must run and things like this. And if there is anything which is not correct, then because the service desk does not have, oh, sorry, we only suspend the queue. This is Bitstock error, huh? I mean also here. The service desk does not have any idea about Bitstock. That's why uh, this alarm goes to HP. Uh, in HP, we have the second and the third level. I mean, if the application uh, group organization can solve this, because we had the knowledge, uh, the knowledge base field where described what, was, what this error could be like, if they can do it by themselves. If they don't know, they contact the application support, uh, where there are the developer who produce the, project, the, the product, and uh, then they, they will help them uh, solving this. And again, if it's something new, we have a new knowledge base information, so the next time, again, all this uh, problem can be solved much more faster. Again, also here, if the application is interested in, in problems who can impact them, uh, they also get this information. The last one was the one which I started before, a system problem, database problem, network problem, things like this. Uh, if we are alarming, then we go and contact directly the IBM uh, operation system that they then can, can solve this problem. Again, also here, if the business is interested, he can get this information. That's it. I had just 10 minutes, so I hope I take my time. 